Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got angle T, and we just need to measure it. All right, so let's open up our graph draw feature, increase the transparency, and we'll use the draw feature. All right, so if we need to, we can scroll up and down, but what we draw doesn't move. So if possible, I always kind of like to keep the picture in the back uh, the same. So let's see. So we've got this angle right here. So this this T is going to be, you know, this angle right in between these two lines, right? And this is called a protractor. And I give it to you right up there at the very top. And so how do we measure this? Well, in a perfect world, one of these two rays, these are actually rays, would be on the zero, either this zero on the right or this zero on the left, but it's not. So what we need to do is we need to find uh, the number that each of these rays are on and then subtract the two to find the difference. Here's the problem. Each of these rays are on two different numbers, right? So I'll do, let me do the uh, outside in blue, right? So look at this, we've got a 30, All right? So I'll do 30. And then this outside is 150. Okay, so we could use both of those if we wanted to. But we also have the inside. I'll do those in green. Watch, we've got 150. And we've got 30. Well, guess what? Those look familiar, don't they? So it doesn't really matter. You notice we've got each... If you look at each of these, look at this 130 and 50 right here, and it's going to be 50 and 130. All right, so they're always going to be paired like that because uh, a straight angle here is going to be 180 degrees, and so everything is just uh, 10 degrees off from the one right next to it. So what we're going to do is, you know, let's go with blue. Let's go with the outside, right? So the difference between these two is going to be 150 and then we'll subtract the other one 30 All right and there's no regrouping necessary 120 degrees so if I were to shift this whole thing over here and if I were to somehow get let's see if I can get yellow to work somehow to move this right here over to the zero then this would up open up right here to the 120. So that lets you know if this whole thing were to kind of move over uh, clockwise, if that was on zero, that would be at 120. So how do we answer this? Well, let's take a look. What is the measure of angle T in degrees? 150, because 180 minus 30 is 150. No, I mean, here's, this is the 150, but it's not 150 degrees, it's only 150 degrees if the other ray is on the zero. It's not on the zero, it's on the 30. So that's incorrect. All right, B, uh, 120, because 150 minus 30 is 120. That's exactly what we did. Okay, so this is going to be, if A is incorrect, B is correct. At least I think so. We gotta check C and D first. 60, because, okay, I see, look what they did. They took this 30, they took this 30, and you added them, but that is not how we use protractors. If one of the rays is not on zero, you have to subtract the measure of both of those. Just make sure you do two outsides or two insides. Just do the same. And then 30, because one, f okay, here's 30 degrees. If, if I wanted to make a line right here, see that line right there, that's 30, because one of my, raises on zero, the other one's on 30. But this is 120. So my answer here is going to be B.